okay this video we are going to see uh, how to connect to Bitcoin JSON data through Python program so we are using uh, the API from coin market cap website so they provide a very good API so if you look at this is for the site and this is the API we are going to download so uh, we get the first top 10 uh, cryptocurrencies and its corresponding values so that is what we are going to store in our database MySQL database so first step will be we need to write a Python program we are calling that program as Bitcoin URL.py and we need to create a MySQL database and we need to connect from Python program to that MySQL table then uh, that particular program we will schedule in cron tab every one hour or 30 minutes so directly we are moving to the program this is the program first we are importing some libraries those are all those are URL lib dot request comma json and pymysql and date time the first uh, url lib dot request is getting the response from some website url and json is for creating the json object and pymysql is connecting to mysql database from a python program date time is for creating the current timestamp so so moving to the next step we are first using the pymysql dot connect to connect our mysql database so i have the database in my host local host and user we need to give username password and the mysql database db name so if you look at here use mysql uh, if you don't know how to create mysql base basics probably you can search some of the website we can create uh, database basis create database database name yeah like that we can create a database I already created so I'm using my database and show tables here also I already created my table crypto table this table will have describe crypto table yeah ID name simple so this is exactly what I have here ID name simple rank the similar way we need to create and this look at this this is going to be some characters so I put it as varchar20 varchar20 and this is something I added myself this is date time this is going to be the current date timestamp so we have to create it as type date time rest of them you can um, looking at this you can create so that is what we have done uh, moving on to the program again so we have uh, connected to the MySQL then we are creating a cursor object using connection dot cursor function and we are storing the API URL in URL variable then connecting to uh, this URL to get the response that is using URL lib dot request dot URL open and the URL name so URL name we already created in the variable so we are putting the URL dot read that will give a response 
and next step is we are creating a JSON object using the JSON library JSON dot loads response whatever response we got object response dot decode to uh, this is one format so once this statement is executed you will be getting something like uh, something like this so ID ID is Bitcoin name is Bitcoin symbol is BTC so this is something like a two-dimensional array each array this is 10 elements one dimension the column it will be 10 columns so we have to iterate through each column and corresponding row will be each ID name symbol rank like that so the JSON object 0 comma ID will have the Bitcoin and JSON object 0 comma name will have Bitcoin name again and 0 comma price USD will have the price of the this one Bitcoin and timestamp is the timestamp this is the timestamp when I when I ran last time similar way this object this is your zero, zero object the first JSON object 1 comma ID will be Ethereum so likewise it's a multi-dimensional array we have to iterate through each element the 10 element 10 columns so that we are using through uh, doing through a for loop and once this is get done we have to insert the cursor data into um, our MySQL database so that we are doing here cursor dot execute insert into crypto table this is the table we created in our MySQL database ID this is the first columns name second column symbol third column rank fourth price USD is the fifth column date time is the sixth column date time is the sixth column so I am inserting only uh, six columns here and values it will be a string percentage s and giving percentages for six times then we have to comma we have to give the actual object we need to insert that we are giving bracket json object and bracket i so the first insert will be zero id that will be our bitcoin zero name will be again bitcoin zero symbol will be btc and second time when the for loop comes it will be json one id one comma id will be ethereum one comma name will be ethereum one comma symbol will be etc yeah like that it will iterate for the top 10 uh, cryptocurrencies and now will be the current uh, timestamp that is what we are getting from date time dot date time dot now function so once this is done we have to commit the data that we are doing with this connection dot commit and we are closing the uh, connection so this is what the program is and now we need to see how to uh, cron schedule this program cron tab minus e will give the tab to edit the cron visual minus e I hope visual is the ok visual equal to vi we have I want to use the VI editor so 
this is the cron tab if you don't know about cron tab it's better to read a little bit about cron tab cron wiki so software utility cron is a time based job scheduler in unix like computer operating operating system so you can give minutes how to schedule means if you give 15 here it will if you give one here for example the following clears the patch error log at one minute past midnight so if you give one here that means every uh, midnight past one minute this will be running so if you giving one here zero here and one here means every 1 am this will be running so this for this example runs a shell program called export dumb dot sh at see 23 45 45 is the minute 23 is the 11 pm and star star means every every hour every day every month and six means every Saturday so every Saturday uh, he this dumb dot sh script will be running so similar way what I am doing here is if you look at here three zero slash star slash 15 means I want to run every 15 minutes every is getting with star so every hour every day every week month every week what I need to run I need to run this location Python and this is the bit URL is my Bitcoin URL is my Python program so how I got this this thing is okay I given a PWD here okay so this is the location I have the Python program and how I got which Python so this is the Python I'm using so that is also I specified here there in the cron tab again I'm taking so this is star slash 50 means every 50 minutes hour I'm giving star two month I'm giving star week I'm giving star do every week also star and I'm giving the command command this is Python and this is the my program bitcoin dot url dot pi with the location I am given I am just saving it so what will happen is again I am taking every 15 minutes this will be running and getting the data from this website through this API and with JSON JSON object will be splitted and we will create an insert query and writing into our MySQL database so I want to show you how the data looks like select star from crypto underscore turbo yeah dash run at eleven twenty three PM ten sixteen then eleven thirty then 11:45. Basically, it is running at every uh, 50 minutes. I think this I manually run it, so that's the reason it's the timestamp different. These two are uh, uh, correct run. 
and how the data looks like yeah if you see 10 10 rank 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 cryptocurrencies we are getting with this timestamp price there are a lot uh, some more columns you can get I did not uh, put it here but uh, if you really making a good application probably you can do it so every 50 minutes this will be running since we scheduled it in cron tab thank you for watching this video we will see uh, more uh, Python programs in our, in our later uh, tutorials thank you